So, this is the very first video for scripting with Ronnie. As you can guess it, I am Ronnie. Yeah, pretty obvious, ain't it? Today, I'm going to show you how to go around using the Include Discord connector. It's basically an interface between the Discord and in-game functionalities. This is the Include itself. If you don't have the Include, I'm going to link it in the description box. Before we begin, I'm just going to go ahead and assume you know what these three includes are. Because these are going to be used most of the time in the script in this tutorial series. First of all, what we're going to need is a variable. DCC channel G reply channel in this variable we're gonna store the ID of the channel with channel the channel with in which most of the functions are supposed to happen so I'm just gonna go ahead and assign it real quick is equals to DCC find channel by ID I need the ID of the channel you're gonna ask me how do I get the ID well just go to the Discord server and the channel where you want everything to function. Right click on the channel, click on copy ID, and then paste it. There you have it. Now you have the ID stored in this variable. Now we're gonna use it. How are we gonna use it? First of all, we're gonna use this callback DCC on the scroll on channel message. Basically, whenever you we write something in this channel, then this callback gets called. First check is if the message was not written in this channel then do nothing. So G reply channel if channel is not equals to G reply channel this is the channel that we're talking about. If it's not the case then return one that means do nothing. Now we're gonna check what the message the user has written so if I'm gonna use strcmp message this is the command that the user needs to write ignore case has to be true because a user could write it in uppercase or in lowercase you don't know now we're gonna check we're gonna need two variables basically new boo has found and a variable where I can store the name of the players plus one. Plus one is because you need to keep one slot empty for the null character. Now we're gonna loop through each of the existing, I mean, players inside the server right now, currently online. If is player admin i if has found is false that means this is the first time it has found an admin so it's it should write something has found make it true and tcc send channel message the channel id so in this case it should be reply channel and then the string what should I write? Available admins. So there we have it. And then I need to actually send the name of the player who's an admin. So DCC, oops, get player name because I need to fetch the name first. I P name size of the name. Now I need to send it. DCC send channel message. Oops. G reply channel and then P name. Now I need to see if there's no. There were no admins found. I need to actually send that. I did not find any admins. So DCC send channel message. G reply channel no admins were found. 
There we have it. That's the most basic of basic commands that you can make. We should test it now, shouldn't we? Yep, we should. So I'm gonna run it. Games. God damn it! Why did I even close it? It's fucking stupid of me. Uh, yep. Now let's see admins. No admins were found. Lovely. Now let me go in game and make myself an admin. Let's see if it responds then. If it does, then that'd be neat. <sighs> if only the game would actually run. Oh god. God! Almost there. Almost there. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. The waiting time is so neat. So fucking neat. Okay, it's lagging hella bad. And let's see if it happens. Hopefully it should. That's that's what I think it should. And admins. Yep, works perfectly fine. That's it for today. If there are any questions or queries, then please do comment it. If you understood anything from this video, then please hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want me to make more tutorials on something specific, then hit me up. I might make one or two for you. Peace out.